Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The Croatian prospect Filip Hergovic has advanced to 7-0 after grafting to a unanimous decision win over Kevin Kingpin Johnson. And the fight itself, it wasn't really close on the cards. It was uh, all the rounds to Filip Hergovic, including a knockdown in the second round, or what was ruled a knockdown. I'll come to that in a second because I kind of thought, watching it live and then watching it on the replay, I didn't think it was a knockdown. But this was a fight where Kevin Johnson, again, made a prospect work for the win. Recently, he fought Daniel Dubois, took Daniel Dubois, a big, heavy-hitting prospect out of the United Kingdom, took him all 10 rounds, and he did the same to Hergovic, and this time it was eight rounds. And Hergovic, like Dubois, dominated throughout. Johnson, very low volume on the offensive end. He was looking for the odd jab. He was looking for the odd counter. But for most of the fight, that was the output from Kevin Johnson. Hergovic, meanwhile, first couple of rounds, he was really looking for the right hand, overhand right, early and often. He was able to tag Johnson clean with it a few times, but a lot of the times Johnson was catching the right hand on his gloves, it was hitting his shoulder, he was giving Hergovic the shoulder, he was able to ride some of the punches, so while there was a lot of shots thrown, Johnson was able to evade many of them, or at least, you know, block some of them. But there was a couple that got through, including one in the second round, right near the bell. And you can see here, so this is the right hand landing, and this is a moment later where Kevin Johnson is sort of down, his knees buckled, but he managed to catch himself. And he was on the ropes, but it didn't look to me that the ropes held him up. It was more that he sort of caught himself before he hit the deck. But Hergovic, he walked off straight away, and then the ref gave uh, Johnson an eight count. So I kind of thought when that happened, I was like, well, hang on, I didn't actually think that was a knockdown, but it was ruled as such. And even when they replayed it at the end of the fight, I thought, I thought Johnson caught him, but ruled a knockdown. So Philip Hergovic showed if he could land clean on Johnson, he was able to hurt him. And not many guys can say that over the course of Kevin Johnson's career. And for this fight, Kevin Johnson didn't look in tremendous shape. He was just under 260 pounds. Philip Hergovic, he was 232 pounds. And it did look to me that sort of after about round three, Filip Hergovic just kind of went into a little bit of an energy saving mode just for a couple of rounds. He was slightly lower volume and Kevin Johnson, you know, he looked to be gassing by about round five. And I, I kind of thought, well, if Filip Hergovic can keep the pressure on here, he might be able to do something here. But after about round three, um, Filip Hergovic actually started to mix it up a little bit, started to throw a few more left hooks. There was a few more body shots, but he didn't sustain that momentum of the variation of punches. And I did think throughout this fight, because many of the rounds were very similar, Hergovic started to just go back to the right hand, land the jab, look for the right hand, right hand, right hand. And he was having success, he was winning the rounds off the back of it, but I would have liked to have seen more variation, because there was a body shot, you know, it was either the fourth or fifth round, I thought, actually that looked to have hurt Johnson, he was grimacing, and I thought actually Hergovic would do well to go back to the body. And the uppercut, that was another punch that I thought was going to be there all night, along with body shots. And I didn't think that the variation of punches from Hergovic um, was enough. He just kind of went back to the right hand and he fell in love with it a bit too much. And a guy like Kevin Johnson, you know, with such a good chin, sometimes you've got to chop that tree down and go to the body, you know, look for some other punches. Because in the end, it, it was a little bit telegraphed. Johnson was expecting the right hand and that's what he was getting for most of the night. But in terms of, you know, the action overall, Hergovic, he dominated throughout. It was a re reasonably decent performance. And it was only the eighth round where Kevin Johnson sort of came out of a shell. He, uh, you know, took down the air muffs and decided, actually, I'm going to have a bit of a go here. But Hergovic, he still had enough in the tank to easily contain Johnson. Didn't really take anything of note from Johnson throughout the fight or even in that final round. So it was in many respects from Kevin Johnson another disappointing performance. I mean, after seeing him in with Daniel Dubois, I kind of thought, well, you know, do I want to see this walking punching bag again? Because that's what he's kind of become, this defensive guy, earmuffs up, you know, just looking to ride punches, you know, sort of 
use his durability to get through fights very low volume and it was the same again in this fight it was almost a carbon copy of the Dubois fight and if we compare the two in terms of the performance and who was more impressive well maybe you could slightly edge it to Hergovic there was a little bit more variation he looked to try change tactics through the fight but ultimately he did go back to looking for that right hand but maybe Johnson in this fight was slightly more ambitious than he was in the Dubois fight it's hard to say, but overall, you know, it was a very comparable performance to the Daniel Dubois fight. And I guess, you know, 7-0 and now, facing a Kevin Johnson, we have to keep this in perspective. He's a 26-year-old prospect out of Croatia, 7-0. and He's facing a former world title challenger in Johnson. Overall, it was a pretty decent performance. And these are the sort of guys that a lot of prospects in their 10th, 12th, 15th fight, you know, something like that, are facing these days. Hergovic has slightly accelerated his seventh fight, but it must be said Johnson was drafted in at late notice after Hergovic's uh, original opponent had some trouble with travel documents or getting you know, to Croatia, whatever it was. But I thought Johnson was a better opponent than the previous one, Yatalo Peria. In terms of 2019, I think the future is bright for Filip Hergovic. I think they will go away, look at the tape, because a fight like this can actually maybe expose a couple of things that you do want to work on. Whereas, you know, you get some of these other soft touches as a prospect, sometimes, you know, an early knockout can disguise some of the things that you maybe do need to work on. I would have liked to have seen the jab, you know, with a bit more snap in it. I would have liked to have seen the left hook a bit more. Working the body, that was something that was there if he wanted it. And certainly the uppercut was there as well. So the punch variation, it could have been better in that fight. But overall, I thought it was a good performance. And 2019 does shape as a decent year for Filip Hergovic. I would say at this rate, the way he's going, if he, you know, continues on the similar track of opponents, you know, we will see him in with uh, more guys of the similar ilk to Kevin Johnson, guys that afforded a recently decent level, fringe contenders or former world title contenders. There was a lot of talk that Johan Dorper might be an opponent for this fight for Filip Hergovic, but it wasn't to be. But I could see that fight happening in 2019. But at the end of the day, you know, some of these things come down to money. But after that performance, you know, there's a lot to like about Filip Hergovic and where he's at in his prospect face. 2019, I think it should shape as a decent year. What did you make of that performance? Did you like what he was doing in there? Did you think he got a little bit one-paced at times? There could have been a bit more variation. Tell me what you thought of that performance. Drop a comment, loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.